Still wish hitting that go live button actually went live on YouTube, but fortunately it doesn't work like that. Hello all of you professional gamers out there in the world. I am Mega Amster and welcome to a very special live stream tonight. Um, this ain't your typical Metroid Dread. Not that Metroid Dread isn't special, that is a very special game. Um, I don't normally stream on Wednesday nights, but I figured, I mean, I'm, I'm a couple days late to the party, I know. Um, I was just streaming Dread Monday night, and then I just, I wanted to, a little bit of time last night to make the thumbnail, whatever, the, the stand and thumbnail. Get, the, get out of the way, Fly. Fly, I know sores in Spanish. Get out of my face. Um, anyways, this is going to be, yeah, like I just said, um, this is going to be focused on showing off Sora and Smash Brothers. The final DLC character for Super Smash Brothers Ultimate has arrived, like I said, a couple days late. Um, but I finally got some time to show it off. I don't know if I'm going to stream the full two hours tonight. I might just, depending on how much I want to do, um, whether it's like if I want to do the classic mode route. I definitely want to like practice with Sora a little bit, go into some um at least local battles against cpu we'll see about online um actually i have to get the ethernet cable out i might be able to do online i didn't even think of that actually i probably wouldn't do well online but um I've, i at least wanted to do the spirit battles I, I like the um the dlc spirit battles they have so that would be fun um i've really gotten into spirits a lot more as of late um i just i don't know i love collecting them i know they're not they're not as like interesting as trophies necessarily from the previous games but like spirits are just i, I don't know i like just collecting them all you know i understand that they had to because there's so many of them i understand that they had to just pretty much make them just pngs or, or just um artwork taken from some of the previous games like it makes sense the one thing i wish they still kept was the descriptions like for different trophies that had that in past games where it was essentially like um you know, give, giving you a little bit of the history of the character that the trophy represented. Um, and telling you what game they're from, too. Like, Smash 4. There we go. Sora is in this. You, see, you can tell I haven't even tried yet. Sora is in Smash. We're going to try this out. Um, so I do, I do miss that about um, some of the previous games. Especially Smash 4 had a really cool trophy system with the whole trophy cases and everything. That was so cool. As someone who loves um, collecting things, like certain things, it's like... It, it, it filled the completionist side of me. Um, like I say at the beginning of pretty much every stream, any video or audio issues, please let me know um, in the chat if you can. We gotta go through all these. Yeah, okay, I was gonna say, I did buy these yesterday, the, the costume, so I was gonna make sure. There's only three of them this time, which is interesting. Oh! So even the Octolang one is just the headpiece. There's no costume. Interesting. I knew the Judd one was. Um, yeah, we can skip all these, though um doom guy i'm not gonna lie doom guy is probably my favorite me costume like just looking at it um i said this during my sore reaction video it honestly makes sense that doom guy is a me costume like i was just happy that he was in the games in some regard because doom is obviously one of the fair one of the first i don't know if it was the first but one of the first two uh first person shooter games and it just really defined the genre um for further fps games to come um, and I personally, I've gotten into Doom with the newer games, with 2016 and Eternal, and like, I don't know, I thought, uh, I thought I really liked them, especially Eternal. Eternal was really good. Um, but it, they would have had to sacrifice so much. Like, in his games, he literally rips apart, like, um, all the enemies and stuff like that. Like, literally, they wouldn't have been able to represent him accurately in this game, so this is the best outcome. Sora as the actual character? What the heck? Why is there a... I've never had this before. What? I, I don't think I've made a me. That's not my me. I don't know who's me that is. That's not me. I do not have gray eyes. Okay, I want to make the me's first, though. Um, and I'm just going to use... The, I think I did this last time. I just used the default me's. Who would be good for... Let's do Octoling first. Who would be good for Octoling? I feel like she's good for Octoling. Let's do it. Um, I'm guessing Octoling is going to be a gunner, right? Then again, I really—I don't think it really matters. You can use the—you can use the wigs for any uh, type of character, I think. But it makes sense to have Octoling be a gunner. There we go. Look at that. Look at that. The Octolang. Well, the thing is, if this isn't right, because it doesn't. Um, oh, that armor is so sick. It even has the uh, the shoulder mount thing from Eternal. It's so cool. Um, the it was the the torch. What was it called? The flame torch, maybe. I just I don't know what. Um... What? No, that's not gonna look good. What um, what's gonna what suit is gonna look good for the Octoling? I'm trying to think. Not the, the standard outfit doesn't look doesn't look awful, but doesn't look great. Wild West, that's funny. I just want to find one that looks like moderately good. Definitely not the bear. <laughs> the Special Forces outfit's actually solid. That's not bad. 
That actually looks kind of cool. Is that supposed to be from a certain game, or is that just kind of default? That's actually kind of cool looking. Um, I think the Special Forces one's my favorite so far. <laughs> the Fox one's funny, but no. Ooh, the Dragon Arm is kind of cool. You know what? What did the Rainmaker look like in Splatoon 1? Uh, the, Splatoon, the original Splatoon's the only one I've played. Um, that kind of looks like the Rainmaker with the Dragon Armor there. Steampunk, interesting. What else we got? Oh, duh, Splatoon oh, I should just do the Splatoon outfit, huh? I should probably just do the Splatoon one. Yeah, let's do that. Let's just stick with that. That makes sense. Um, I, I don't know why I do this. I always change the default colors to like match the character. Um, I'll do a red for that. In terms of the moves, what do I want to do? Yeah, we'll do a grenade. Why not? No, you know what? No, because that's gonna be that's gonna be Doom Guy for sure. Um, so no to that. But maybe I always try to think of like which moves would be closest to like approximately um, moves that would be like representative of the character in their actual games. Um, let's see, Lunar Launch. I'm trying to think, what, this one kind of looks like the, uh, the super jump you do when you spawn in, so let's do that. And then... Yeah, you know, let's do the Echo Reflector. I like that. Um, gotta give her a voice, too. I'm thinking maybe a slightly deeper voice. Nah, I don't like that one. This voice is so bizarre. This Type 12 is always the weird one. I think I like this one the best, actually. Cool. Okay. We gotta give her a name, though. What am I gonna call this Octoling? I was gonna say, if anybody's in the chat, has a good name for this one. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure I already have, like, a Splatoon me called, like, Squid Kid or something stupid like that. Um, I don't want to take too long on this. I'm trying to think of, like, an iconic octopus character. What was the name of the freaking octopus that Nick Jr. show? With the blue... You know what? I gotta look this up. Hold on. Give me a second. Give me a second. Um... No, Henry the Octopus is from the Wiggles. What was... I mean, I could just do Henry, but that wouldn't really be as funny. What was the name of the one from that Nick Jr. show, The Blue Octopus? If anybody knows, let me know. I just cannot think of it. Uh, um, I really don't know. I don't know. I'm just going to call this one Calamari. Let's go for it. I can't think of anything else. Which is funny in hindsight, just because Callie and Marie's names are, you know, kind of based on, uh, <laughs> based on, they're, they're a pawn for Calamari. Um, there we go. I don't think I have another one named Calamari. <laughs> but I forgot about Boyd. <laughs> Boyd's funny. I have some funny ones. Some of them are my favorites. Um, who's going to be Judd? She's going to be Judd. We'll make her Judd. Should Judd be a brawler? Yeah, I think, well, mm, I was going to say, if there was a flag weapon, like, for a sword, I would totally make her a sword fighter. But you know what? Now this makes sense. Oh, no, I don't know. Another name. I want to change the headgear. There we go. And definitely, I mean, the cat outfit for sure. Where's the cat outfit? If I don't have it... Okay, I was going to say, if I don't have a cat outfit unlocked, like, that's just kind of... They, they put that in the trailer like they knew. It's going to be the kitty. Okay. Definitely the shot put, like, Judd's, like, throwing your his shit at you. I guess in this case, her shit. Um, I feel like Judd's probably a burning kick. Um, going for all the memes here. Let's see what Soaring Axe kick. I'm just using him at random at this point, because I have no idea. We'll do Faint Jump, because cats are pretty agile. Okay. Now, what are we going to do for the voice? I'm thinking something for deep as well for this one. <laughs> I 
Oh yeah, that's Judd right there. Oh, there we go. Let's get even lower. Yeah, let's do that. I want to do that. That's Judd. What should I? What should I name this? This um abomination that is Judd. I'm gonna be super creative and call it mud. There we go. There's mud. Now, the one I really want to get to, I'm just kind of doing these just because I feel obligated to since I bought them. Um, now it's time for the real one, for Doom Guy. Um, yeah, this guy's best for Doom Guy. I actually, like, I was kind of joking, I was thinking about this earlier, like, I literally might just main me Gunner specifically with Doom Guy. I mean, I know people already do that for Sans, right? Like, it's, just, it's a thing. Oh, look at this costume, it's so good! Look at how good this me costume is, though. Like, I'm telling you, this is the best outcome for Doom Slayer in this game. All the markings on the helmet and everything, too. Like, oh, it's so good. I, I might main Doom Guy in this game. Ah! Uh, see, the green's kind of off. It's the closest I can get. Okay. Definitely the grenade launcher. For sure. Um... Does Doom Guy have missiles? I mean, he has the rocket launcher, I guess. I feel like Flame Pillar just makes more sense because of the the torch flame. Um, I'm gonna go with the arm rocket on that one. See, it would have been funny if Doom Guy was like a brawler, just because of the way he like rips apart his enemies. Like, I feel like that would have been funny, but it made sense to make him a gunner. Um, oh, bomb drop though. Does he have, like, a... He doesn't have a reflector in the games, I don't think. At least the newer ones, I'm trying to think. Because maybe Bomb Drop would be a better one. But if I do Bomb Drop, I don't want to also do Grenade Launcher. Hmm. What are the other options here? Echo Reflector... Does he have a reflector? I'm trying to feel like if he does. I don't think he does in the games, not that I can think of. I mean, he has the armor, sure, but it's not, like, a reflector or anything. Ah, see, that's a tough one. You know what, I feel like maybe just honestly a regular, like, laser blast. I feel like, like, represents something like the BFG or something. I feel like that might work. And then if I do bomb drop here. There we go. Okay, now. Definitely a deep voice. I honestly might do the same one as last time I did for Judd. That's not bad. That's not bad, actually, too. That's too deep, I think. Yeah, you know what? This sounds perfect. The normal pitch for this sounds perfect. I already know what I'm naming him. The only thing they fear is you. We're going in. Hopefully that actually came through the mic. It's like this filter I have on it sometimes filters out stuff on the mic. Okay, I think we are good to go. Let me pull up the topics I had here too. Pretty much, I mean, I, I started this with my stream on Monday for Metroid Dread, but like, I, I, I feel like sometimes I run out of stuff to say occasionally. I mean, a lot of it is just me, you know, focusing on the game itself. Um, but I kind of want to just keep up a few little topics of things I can come up with ahead of time, just in case I want to, um, have some top topics to bring up. Nox! <laughs> Garth. Why'd I call him Garth again? I don't even remember half of these <laughs> names or why I called them specific things. Um, cool. Okay, I want to go into some training with Sora. That's what I first want to do. But the main, the main topic I wanted to discuss here... Oh, no, you know, before I even do that, most important thing... Where is it? I think it's under Vault. Maybe. Yeah, okay, I think it's in Sounds. First thing I'm doing is cranking up all the music tracks to, like, often. Because, like, I, I don't know. I, I like, I, I do this for literally every music track in every stage of the game, just so that I, I want it to play, like, I, I like having the variety and, like, 
I don't know. I mean, it's really cool to have all these options of like playing the songs at certain like uh, you can you can essentially determine the rarity of when these songs play. But I don't know. I like ha them all having kind of a chance at playing because I just like listening to diverse music in this game. Not that I'm fully paying attention to the music while I'm in the moment of the battle, but at least uh, at least to give it a chance, you know. But let me go into some training with Sora now. Um, the main topic for tonight, I mean, it was just going to be kind of talking about, you know, so the uh, kind of memories with Smash Brothers and everything. Um, I'll do the training stage, why not? Because, um, I mean, this is the last character. This has, like, been such a build-up until now. Um, which sword do I want to use is the question. Because, like, there are some really cool costumes in here. Um, I, just as a, pre a preface, I have no experience with Kingdom Hearts at all. Um, but, like, this is the Kingdom Hearts 2 one. Obviously, 1, 2... I think Dream Drop Distance, they said, and then three. The Timeless River one's cool, but I know everybody's going to go with that. Um, that one's kind of cool. I don't know, I like the blue. Maybe I'll go with the blue form here. Looks like I might be based off this Dream Drop Distance one, too. And no, Min Min, you are long in the past. Can you believe it was that long ago? Oh, okay, we're fighting against Min Min. Okay, so let me see... Oh yeah, I can already feel how, how, uh, he doesn't, honestly, he doesn't feel too floaty, at least to me. But his first jump is super gimp. Like, you can already tell it's like, you can barely jump because his second jump is massive. He just floats way up there. Um, okay, let's see what we got. Forward air. Ooh, no. Back air, I think. Yeah, back air. Up aerial, down aerial. Okay, so he has one of those moves that, like, forces you to slam down on the ground like that. Gotcha, okay. Honestly, I know a lot of people complain about characters with those moves. I don't mind it too much. Sometimes it just helps me get back to the ground faster. Because, like, I sometimes I have a tough time of, like, getting my character to go back down to the stage faster. I know there's, like, technical ways to do it, but I'm not super technical when it comes to Smash Brothers. Um, but I know there's ways to do it. But moves like this really help me a lot. Um, let's see Smash attacks. Cool. Forward Smash. Ooh. The cool little up Smash. Down smash. Oh, that covers. That has way more range than I figured it would. Wow, because it looks like it just goes right down, but the hitbox is actually bigger than you think. Interesting. Okay. So even though he's really just kind of poking down and up and down, it really has a bigger hitbox than you think. Okay. Have a tilt. Forward tilt. Up tilt. Ooh, that's a cool up tilt. I like that. And then kind of a little sweep with the Keyblade as a down tilt. Okay. And then... Okay, so this one, I know it's like... Um, it pretty much, it's not like, you know, it's not like Hero where you decide which one you want. Or um, with Robin where like different directional inputs um, determine which spell you're going to do, right? Um, it just kind of cycles through all three ones. But as long as I'm holding one down, it'll keep it going. Um... It looks like Farag is actually the only one that does that. Or, oh, I thought you just held it down. You have to keep pressing it? Okay. Okay. Okay, why did I think that you could just keep holding down B to do the fire one? I guess not. The thunder one, at least, like, it, it kind of goes way farther out in front of you. And obviously the freeze one just kind of freezes your opponent. But you have to keep pressing B. Or is there... Oh, maybe there's a limit, actually. Okay. Get out of here. Okay. That's just the kind of the normal jab. Okay. What about side B? Oh right, this is the this is the crazy one. Oh, you don't even have to press B every time. You just choose three random directions. You press the the side B once and then you kind of choose the directions from there. Interesting. Okay. This honestly feels like... I think it's Bayonetta's side B. I know a lot of people were potentially comparing Sora to Bayonetta. It feels like Bayonetta's side B, but, like, honestly, way easier to control with the way this is going. That's cool. Okay, and then... Up B is this kind of twirl. Pretty much like Lynx, it looks like, but... Honestly, has a little more vertical range. And when it goes up. Down B is just a counter, it looks like. But apparently his counter works a little differently i think it can even like deflect projectiles and stuff like that um i guess he <laughs> apparently he has like one of the more powerful counters in the game which is cool um but i will say like already i can already feel like out of at least the second fighters pass Sora is already one of my more favorite characters to control 
I just, I really like characters that are, you know, very, like, um, mobile in the air. Um, Sonic especially is kind of like that too, so I, I do like that about Sora. Um, I'm not great at, like, comboing, so that's probably going to be where, you know, I'm not going to be amazing with Sora here, but, like, the combo potential, you can already tell, is there. So if you can, like, link combos in the air together and then, you know, do, like, other stuff, like, yeah. Then you're going to be really good with Sora. Apparently Sora is, like, already looking to be, like, a pretty good character. Uh, at least in terms of the competitive scene, so. It's just awesome that they got this character in there. Um, I guess, I think Push Dustin over on Twitter actually translated... I don't know if the uh, Famitsu column came out today with Sakurai talking about Sora, or if it was just translated today, but, like, apparently... I tweeted about... I, I think I quote-tweeted that as well. Um, apparently, Sora was originally... Originally, Fighters Pass 2 was only going to have the five characters. Um, I don't know if it was in the same order of Min Min, Steve, Sephiroth... Pyramithra and Kazuya, but I think Kazuya was going to be the last one. I think they already had those five planned. And then, just by chance, um, I think Sakurai came across some Disney executive at one point um, and was like, hey, you think we can make this work? And apparently, they got it to work, and so they added that sixth fighter. Which means, therefore, I believe it means that um, because Sora, the, the Fighters Pass 2 was decided on first, and then they were like, oh, we actually can't get Sora. Let's add that sixth character in. Because um, they revealed, I'm pretty sure it was at Violet's initial reveal back in January of last year that they announced that Fighter, uh, Second Fighter's Pass was going to have six characters in it. We knew from Terry's reveal that there was a Second Fighter's Pass, but I'm pretty sure it was Violet's presentation that confirmed it was six characters. So they had to have known it was Sora by then, right? Like, they absolutely had to have known. Let me check out his grabs, too. I forgot about those. I forget to grab sometimes, to be honest. I really do. Um... But, like, I think that means that they, it, Sora must have been known at least since, like, almost two years ago, which is kind of crazy to think about. These taunts are really cool looking, too, by the way. Like, look at these taunts. That one is... Oh! 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 Interesting. I thought those were actually his different taunts, but he actually... It cycles through these three different things. I think there actually moves in Kingdom Hearts. Like I said, I just haven't played Kingdom Hearts at all, so I have no experience here, but... Um, yeah, that's cool, actually. I like that a lot. I honestly should have... Um, I should have set up the Ethernet cable in case I was going to do it online tonight. I don't know if I will. Like I said, I probably won't have this stream go on for too, too long. Um, normally, I stream for two hours. But, like, I don't know if I'll actually do the two hours tonight. We'll see. Bye-bye, Min Min. Oh, never mind. I got stuck on the platform. Man. I thought you were gone for sure. Okay, I feel like that's probably enough practice with Sora. Um, how do I actually get out of here? Oh, there we go. That will do it. What should I do? You know, maybe I will do... Maybe I will do Sora's Classic Mode, just to change things up a bit. When I streamed Kazuya last time, I'm pretty sure I did Spirit Battles. I just did some normal matches, too, against... I think I just did CPUs, to be honest. But look at that. There's all the characters. Look at that. One thing I was wondering is people pointed this out on uh, Twitter, actually. When you have the Echo Fighters stacked on top of, like, wherever their fighters are, and not in separate spaces like I have here. It actually makes the character select screen a perfect rectangle. I'm, like, debating doing that, but, like, I don't know if I will. Um, how would I even do that, actually? Where would I go to do that? Is that in a separate setting? Or if I just, maybe if I just go to Smash, it'll let me do that. You know, I do have to check out Sora's stage, too. Maybe I'll do that. Which one's the fun one? The Boys Club? What's the difference between these two, actually? What's the difference between all of these, honestly? Why do I have so many? I know, Very Terry is the fun one. <laughs> Does this have items on? Final Smash meter's on, so maybe... Well, I would like to show up as Final Smash, honestly. Let's do the Boys Club. I don't remember what this rule set actually is. And yeah, we'll check out Hollow Bastion. Cool looking stage. Very pretty looking stage, by the way. And when it transforms, when you're at low sock or... Uh, low time like that's awesome um yeah so what if i want to stack is that in the rules i don't think that was in the rules right advance where would that be then i wonder what kind of setting that would be under where you stack the characters because it wasn't on the character select screen when i went in i don't think um yeah, you know, why don't I check out the stage a bit? I want to check it out. Let me go back in. 
I would, I, part of me would really like to see that um, that character select screen in the perfect rectangle, but I don't care too much. By having the Echo Fighters separately, it's also like kind of makes them more special. Like honestly, for example, I prefer Dark Samus to Samus. Um, also, I think I prefer Richter to Simon, but it, those are mostly just aesthetic purposes. I prefer Lucina to Marth. Um, where are the other Echoes? Daisy or Peach? To be honest, I probably would prefer more of the Echo Fighters just because they're new and different. Um, not sure about Ken and Ryu, though. I might actually prefer Ryu in that case. They really didn't put a lot of Echo Fighters in this game, did they? They made it seem like there was going to be more when there really weren't, like, a ton. But I feel like that's one area that they could have flushed out a little bit more. Because I don't even know. There's there's definitely no more than ten Echo Fighters in this game. Three, two, oh, Hand in Hand. Okay, th go. this is, um... Is this the song that plays on Destiny Island, I think it's called, in Kingdom Hearts 1? Do I have do I have him on I probably have him on level 9, don't I? I have okay. Not doing too well. That's a good move. Good job, Wolfie boy. You know, Wolf, let's get a hit on you. One hit. There we go. There we go. Ah! Oh, come on. I just keep spamming inside B. That's not how we're gonna do it. Ooh. Nope. Nope, not your steel diver shit. Get out of here. Get out of here with your steel diver weapon. I don't even care. What kind of I, I thought I just had Pokeballs and assist trophies on, but I guess not. That must have been a completely different uh, rule set I had. Yeah, what kind of rule set did I put on for this? What the hell? The boys club is not the boys club. Oh, can you not go in the same direction twice? Because I swear I didn't tilt the thumbstick that way, but maybe. I don't know. Come on, Wolf. Get over here. Come on, Wolf. Get over here, buddy. Ah. Okay. I'll give him that. I'll give him that. I'm not the best at Smash. I'm a little rusty, too, to be honest. Plus, I mean, learning a new character. I gotta I gotta get a hang on Sora. I'll get there eventually. I gotta remember what all his moves are, honestly. I know the down beat. That's about it. Slip on that banana peel! Learning all the spells, too, because they're each kind of their own things. So that's gonna be... Difficult. Okay, let's not do that. There we go. I know his final smash is quite a bit of range like that, so I gotta hit it from far away, clearly. That is a cool-looking final smash, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, I really I really like how Sora handles. Like, this feels like the type of character I would love to play as. I just really gotta learn his moves more. There's a Pokeball. Metagross! I love Metagross. Probably one of my favorite Gen 3s. Up in my, like, top 10 Gen 3 Pokemon. But, can you believe they actually ended with Sora? Like, I'm still kind of, like, a little bit in shock about that. Um, oh, you know what? I oh, whoa. What in the world? Wait, yo, like, he literally almost, like, KO'd me just from activating the final, not even using the final smash. That was crazy. Wait, I'm down to two stock already? Wow. Hey, you want the, uh, thing? Okay. Because I, I think I must have set this at three stock. Yeah, there we go. That up B. That reminds me a lot of Link's up B, and I love that. You know what? We're not going to do this. Hey, get over here. There we go. Oh, okay. There's Blazaga. That's a good way to use Blazaga right there to freeze them. Oh, shit. Yeah, that's the staff. That is not a good... Ooh! Sheesh! I don't know how I won that battle, but okay. That staff came in handy there. I feel like it cheaped out a little bit because of some of those items there. There we go. Beautiful. Yeah, no, Sora's really fun. I can already tell Sora's super, super fun to play. I think the thing was, Fighters Pass 1 to some degree, I feel like a lot of the characters were pretty gimmicky. But especially Fighters Pass 2, I mean, if you look at it. I'm actually going to go do uh, Sora's Classic Mode. Because why the hell not? I want to do that. Um, Fighters Pass 2... My chair is starting to lower again. I fucking hate it. <laughs> um... I mean, if you look at the characters, Min Min, super gimmicky, right? Completely different control scheme with... Uh, what's the A button controlling one arm and the B button controlling the other? I hate this chair. I gotta, I gotta get one of those, like, clamps to fix it and hold it in place. I think the pump is just kind of given out, and that's why it keeps lowering like this. Um, there's classic mode. But Min Min, very, very gimmicky. Steve, same thing. They completely, like, changed how... Um, oh, this almost looks like a perfect rectangle. Pretty close. One character off. Um, 
How is my... Okay. Who's my high score? Link? Regular Link. Okay, that's fair. Plus is up there. Dark Samus has to be up there. Eh, not bad. Inkling's up there. I'm surprised. I'm not even that good with Inkling. I know none of these scores are probably that good. Where's my Young Link at? Young Link's gotta be up there. Not as much as I thought. Okay. Mega Man, not bad. DK? DK's kinda up there. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna go, uh, I'm gonna go through Sora's Classic Road. I know a lot of people were hoping that Sephiroth would be the final bo uh, the final boss of, um, Sora's Classic Mode. I'm pretty sure it's not. I'm pretty sure it's just Crazy Hand Master Hand, but we'll find out. I think I have a ticket. I wanna use a ticket up. Let's go all the way. Pushing it all the way. Let's do this. Alright, I got plenty of tickets. I think they, they kind of introduced this, like... Get kind of almost gambling mechanic for in terms of you can determine what difficulty you start at and um stop it we're not doing this not today stop it now what i'm meant to do shit there we go <laughs> see link i can use your own up b against you buddy oh! watch out there we go stop it Get out of here. Damn it! Boom! There we go. I love this animation, too, when you finish off someone with Sora, and it just goes into slow-mo with that cool fade-to-white effect. I like that a lot. Um, not bad. But yeah, this, this kind of gambling mechanic, they... they Not gambling, it's the right way to say it, but they introduced this concept in Smash 4. Um, it definitely feels a little more refined here in terms of, like, you can start off at a certain difficulty... Um, and then depending on how well you do, it'll gain a certain amount of difficulty as you go, with the highest being 9.0. I remember being so annoying in Smash 4, whenever you'd end up, like, in one of, like, I don't, I don't even think you need a 9.0. I'm pretty sure if you got, like, 8.02, you could do it. Um, this is gonna be annoying. Holy shit, I don't like all these guys. Stop it! Side B's gonna work wonders here, I think. What?! How did- oh my god! Oh my god, I'm not doing too well now anymore. Oh my lord! There's so many Game & Watch! It's absolutely obliterating me. I'm not using tickets on... I'm not using tickets on this, you kidding me? Holy crap, how many of them are there? Oh, I can see in the corner, okay. Jeez, dude. That was crazy. I guess some smash attacks would've taken care of them, to be honest. Oh well. <laughs> Mess up early on? Yeah, I guess it makes sense. <laughs> Typical me. Um... Yeah, it's a cool mechanic with classic mode, but I really wanted to talk about like some of the um, I know I've been meaning to, just like literally getting sidetracked by other stuff in this game, um, as happens with streaming. But um, just like literally Smash Ultimate, especially I, I'm trying to remember because I didn't play. I mean, I didn't play honestly. Nint oh, Cloud. Okay, this is gonna be interesting. <laughs> Come on. No? Okay. Oh, wrong way. That's not gonna help things at all. Um, I started Smash with Brawl. I played a little bit of Melee multiplayer with friends. I didn't own a GameCube for forever, and I, I... I technically do now, but I don't own any games for it anymore. I sold a few of them, but like, I didn't... I never owned that many stuff uh, for the GameCube, so... Most of it was pretty new to me. Oh, bye-bye, Cloud. That was pretty solid. <laughs> just knocked them, those, some of those stages that you can just knock characters off the side. It's not even fair sometimes. Um, but I played a little bit of melee multiplayer with some friends when I was younger and like growing up. But brawl, I mean, brawl is really what introduced myself to Smash Brothers. And even then, I didn't play brawl until like 2013, like super super late. Um, I remember I specifically didn't get a Wii U, with, or I didn't want to get a Wii U at launch because I was like, this thing doesn't play GameCube games. What's the point? That was my reasoning for that. Um, which, I mean, to be honest, come on, that's fair reasoning, right? Um, wow, these, these Robins are destroying me. Holy crap. I am not doing good. Ah! Jeez. Oh, no. Please. Stop it. Oh, my God. This is bad. I am doing terribly. I was doing okay with Kazuya on that previous stream, but this one, no way in hell. I'm about to die. Ah, shit. I am not doing well. Absolute trash. Okay. Oh, uh, what's... Uh, what are you gonna... What are you gonna do? 
it's like, I like how Sora handles, but at the same time, there's definitely a lot I need to learn. You're already dead, you don't have to attack him again. There's still a lot I need to learn about Sora, so. Come on. Come on. What are you doing? Get out of here. Can't go easy on me now. Nah! Stop evading my attacks, you. There we go. Um, but yeah, I got a Wii in like 2013. That was like my first Nintendo console. I grew up playing the handhelds, but the consoles took me like years to get into. At least to get on my own. Like I said, with friends I played some, but like on my own, not really. Um, until then. And then I got Brawl was like one of the first games I got on the Wii, and I absolutely loved it. I played multiplayer with friends. Going back to Brawl now, I'm not going to lie, the multiplayer feels like a little... Not really slow, but like... I don't know, something about it just feels a little off. Is Gandalf supposed to be like Xehanort or something? I know nothing about Kingdom Hearts, like I said, so I don't know at all, but... He is gone! That did not take long at all. This is actually going to be a quick classic mode then at this rate. It's all stamina, right? So this will be interesting. That was pretty solid. When there's only one enemy, it's not too bad. <laughs> then I can actually handle it. It's, it's not gonna end well. I'm already, I'm already getting close to the end already. Sora again. Oh, is this like him facing against his like darkness or heartless or whatever it's called? Is that what this is? Oh, don't like that. I keep forgetting he has a counter too. I don't know why he doesn't seem like the type of move, uh, type of character would have a counter. I guess he's not the typical sword character, huh? Like everybody might think he was. <laughs> uh. But yeah, I loved Brawl. I mean, especially for Subspace Emissary. I absolutely love Subspace Emissary. Just seeing all the characters interact. Um, even though I didn't know a lot, a lot about most of them in that point. Um, I mean, I knew, like, the Mario. I knew of Link and, like, the whole Zelda franchise. But a lot of characters I didn't know. I knew Sonic, of course. I loved Sonic growing up and everything, so I knew about that. And super excited to see him in the game. But just playing through Subspace Emissary, seeing these characters interact, even though it wasn't... To be honest, if you go back and look at Subspace Emissary, it really wasn't a very in-depth story at all. It was really just one of those excuses to get all these characters to come together. Um, and it was a little bloated in some ways, although the cutscenes were cool. Um, I just, but I, like, I'm, I'm not saying it's bad. I just, I, It's definitely not like perfect 10 out of 10 you know, um, gameplay there. But I have a lot of fond memories of Subspace Emissary specifically. Let's go, Sora. Come on. The fact that I'm already at this part of classic mode, like, this is really fast. Yeah, I know I don't have to really bother at all with these, but, like, it's kind of fun. Might as well. Get that global smash power up there. I never understood global smash power, to be honest. Like, I know it's kind of like, you know, how well you do compared to other players. Can I get up there? Come on. There we go. If you hit it enough times, you can actually break the wall there. You know, I will say, Sora's pretty fast and powerful for being pretty fast, so, like, I'm not making that. I'm just gonna go for it. Go, Sora, go! But, yeah, Brawl, I still have a lot of fond memories of, but going back to it, I really only go back to it for I'm sorry to be quite honest. Like, if I ever want to replay through that. And then again, I don't do that that often. Um, Smash 4, I'm trying to think. That was when I first got into, like, the Smash hype cycle. Yeah, okay, it is Mouse Hand, Crazy Hand. Um... I didn't get into it until I want to say Little Max Reveal was like the first one that I was actually like got invested in kind of the hype of Smash Brothers. Um, that's kind of when I started to follow like Nintendo news specifically. Um, oh, this is not... Okay, this is not stamina. Woo! No. This is not stamina. Okay, I was wondering if it was going to be or not. Ah! See, I hate that move. That is that Crazy Hand? That's cr No, it's Master Hand, actually. You guys can stop, actually. You guys can stop. There you go, that's not bad. There we go. Oh, there we go. Very good. Shit! Whoa, that move freezes you? I didn't realize that freezes you. That's kind of crazy. Okay, Master Hand's actually getting there. I might as well just try to take out Master Hand specifically. Ooh, not good. Oh, not good, not good, not good. Okay. We'll see if I can... Uh... Ooh, shit. Oh, why did I think that was actually crazy? Uh, I fucking knew it. I knew as soon as I think it was Crazy Hand did the stupid Rocky move, I'm like, he's gonna fucking kill me. Yup, I am doing terribly. Jeez, you gotta love it. Man. You gotta love it. Stop it with your spikes. Nobody cares. Can I just say I love the fact that this is literally like the concept, the original, the original concept of someone 
like playing with toys essentially and like this is actually them kind of interacting with them it's kind of funny to think about you know hi right, let's not please let's not no please let's not i would like to just get back on the fucking stage thank you thank you oh my if i lose another stock i'm actually gonna flip i'm not gonna lie i'm actually gonna be so mad if i lose a second stock There we go. At least Master Hand's done. Crazy Hand is about to go next. What the? Wait. Oh, I didn't know you were still attacking me. What the hell? Crazy Hand? Come on, buddy. Oh, no. No! Oh, my God. I hate that move so much. Crazy Hand is definitely more annoying than Master Hand. Definitely 100% more annoying than Master Hand. What the hell is this? No, thank you. No, thank you. No, thank you. Oh, my... That was an air dodge. I don't want to get too pissed, but like this is just it gets annoying, but I think he's done. I'm not gonna lie, Master Hand and Crazy Hand always kinda aggravated me to some extent. Some of the moves they do are just very like ridiculously stupid. But there we go. Not my best chilling of Smash Brothers for sure. Um at least the spirit battle should be interesting. But there we go, that is Sora's classic mode. They played that, uh, I don't know what the name of that song is, but they played that one that was during his uh, trailer as well, so that was cool to see. Yeah, 7.5, not ideal. 494,000, yeah, that is not even close to my best. Not even close. But yeah, so going back to Sm uh, Smash 4, like, speculations, I, I kind of got in with, um... It was with, uh, Little Max Feel, I'm pretty sure, because, like, I, I, I found out about Mega Man afterwards, and, like, I had a little bit of experience with Mega Man. I actually, the first Mega Man games I played, I know this is pretty bad, but I actually played Mega Man 2 and Mega Man X, but the mobile versions. And yes, I, the mobile versions are not very fun. Um, to be honest, I didn't mind the mobile version of Mega Man X. Mega Man 2 was terrible. I couldn't beat Mega Man 2 on mobile because of the... Um, it was the section in Wily Castle Stage 1 right before you fight off against the Mecha Dragon. I just, I couldn't platform up there with the mobile controls. It was literally impossible for me, and I can never do it. Um, Mega Man X, I actually did eventually beat on mobile. Before, I mean, years later, I got the uh, the X Legacy Collection on Switch, and obviously I've played all the X games there now. Um, much, much better way to play those games. Um, if you're interested in Mega Man X, I would, I would definitely check out the Legacy Collection 1. 2... Unless you're really into Mega Man X, I would say avoid because it's some of the the lesser games in the Mega Man X series. Um, although 8's probably the best of those, and 8's pretty solid. I like Mega Man X 8, so it makes me hopeful that if they do make a 9, then it might be okay. Uh, but 6 and six and 7 especially are not very good. I just despise 6 especially. Um, 5 is just, eh, it's okay. But um, anyways, yeah, like so I, I knew of Mega Man ahead of time. But, like, not a ton of experience, but, I, I mean, I was excited to find out. I didn't know right when he was revealed, because I wasn't even following Smash 4 at that time. I was like, you know what? I'm, I just got Smash Brothers Brawl. I am content with just having um, this game playing through Subspace Emissary. Because I was definitely late to the party with that. Um, like, yeah, five years after this Brawl came out. But I was loving uh, Brawl, uh, Subspace Emissary. I played a hell of a lot of that when I first got it, and that was fun. All the trophies, and the coin launcher, and um, all the, um, what are they called? Not the accolades, but what, what the things you can unlock, the achievements, essentially, that lets you unlock stages, and characters, and, or not characters, trophies, and all that kind of stuff, music. Like, oh, that was great. Um, although, to be honest, a little annoying. Do they have, it? no, they do have achievements in this game, right? But they don't unlock, like, content like stages or music behind any of that. I don't, maybe music, definitely not stages though. Um, which in theory makes it, it makes sense because it's like, those are so core to the game that it was kind of annoying to like, have to unlock some of them through the, some of the achievements you do. Yeah, I did not do great there. But there we go, I got the, the Kingdom Heart. wait. Why did it give me Kingdom Hearts 1? I figured because there's five Sora spirits I figured you'd get one for each costume, but I guess if the game doesn't keep track of that, huh? Because the Dream Drop Distance Sora, unless I have to, because this is the the blue variant, not the normal Dream Drop Distance variant, so maybe you actually have to be that one. Otherwise, it just gives you the default Kingdom Hearts one. I don't know. But there we go. I think I have most of the spirits. I think I checked. I'm only missing a few hundred now. That was... 
Yeah, definitely not one of my best. <laughs> oh, well, what are you going to do? I'm going to hop into some, uh, some spirit battles, I think, and check that out a bit. I've actually really gotten to the spirit collecting, but... Anyways, going back to what I was talking I keep losing track. Um, the Smash 4, I got it. Little, I, Little Max reveal was super cool, by the way. I just rewatched the Smash 4 and Ultimate reveals recently, and Little Max reveal is, like, it's not super hype, because, I mean, it's Little Mac, but it's, like, the style of it is so cool. I love that. Um, speaking of Little Mac, there we go. Show your fighting spirit. Um, here we go. Here's the last set of uh, spirit. Wait, interesting. Oh, is Kyrie a spirit? Okay. I thought she wasn't. No, she... Oh, she is. Okay. Oh, Roxas is legend? Interesting. Is Roxas... Sora's... Nobody? Is that how... I don't even... I'm not even gonna pretend to know anything about Kingdom Hearts. Um, also, Roxas and Ventus look pretty much identical. I'm guessing there's gotta be some reason for that. Um, I haven't mean to check out Kingdom Hearts. If anything, I'm gonna... Ch I don't... I've never owned a PlayStation. I probably don't... I don't think I plan on it, but, like, they're on Epic Games Store on PC. I'm considering doing that, but, um, I don't want to spend the money on those just yet. I'm playing enough games as it is. Um, okay, let's see. 2100 Shield? Let me go for, like, a 2100 Grab, then. And I gotta use Sora. Sora's the only way to go here. I think, I think my, if I'm gonna play Sora, I think it's gonna be the, the blue one. I like the blue one. Which I think, once they load, it will be this one that I'm on right now. I think. Hopefully. Maybe. There we go. Let's go in here. I gotta adjust the spirits. I want to make it a fair fight. Get good enough rewards. 2100 grab is what I want. Preferably not level 99 either. I know I like go too much into this, but it's like, I don't know. It's um, it's kind of fun. I enjoy it. What was it? 2100, right? Or do Goku and Chao. No, that's too much. Too much. Let's do Olaf. There we go. That's more of a fair fight. Um, is that gonna be too much? No, nah, that's all. Let's do it. Let's go with Olaf. I think this guy's from Advanced Wars. I recognize him from that Advanced Wars reboot camp trailer from E3. Ready? Go! Oh, it's not stamina either. Interesting. Okay, I figured they would have made the spirit battles stamina as well. Oh, and Sora. Okay, Sora um fights alongside the not Kyrie as well. Okay, that's funny. Why didn't they make a Kyrie the uh, female villager like they did in the the trailer? That's interesting. I mean, I guess, honestly, Daisy makes sense. She kind of looks more like Kyrie. But it's probably also the whole flower motif, too. I don't know. There's probably more to this than I realize. I just... I'm not getting any of these Kingdom Hearts references because I just do not understand uh, Kingdom Hearts in the slightest. But if anything, I'd want to try the 1.5 collection, um, which has, I think, from what I was seeing, Kingdom Hearts 1 and 2, and then... Um, there's some cutscenes, I want to say, from some of the other games. But I think Chain of Memories is playable, as well as Birth by Sleep. Um, so I guess some of the more important ones are playable. And then they have, like, the, some of the other games that they're just like, yeah, nobody's going to care about this, are just cutscenes. So that's kind of, that's funny. Um, to be honest, though, that 2.8, whatever the hell the title is, the one that has, I think it's Dream Drop Distance, and then a couple other cutscene collections for different games, it's like, to me, that's not really worth... Um... Bye, Sword. That's not really worth, um, do it. Like, uh, to me, that's not worth it. It's, it's priced at $60 full price. I'm like, really? That just seems like way too much. Like, definitely not. Bye, Daisy. Oh, okay. <laughs> I forgot you can swim. Bye. Okay. Um, you know, that's not worth $60 to me. Where's the 1.5 collection with all, like, Kingdom Hearts 1 and 2 and Birth by Sleep and Chain of Memories or whatever the fuck it's called? Um, <laughs> Excuse me. That normal price is only 50 so that's, like, a much better deal. It was actually on sale for 40 like, a couple weeks ago. Almost considered it then, but I just didn't do it. Um, let's go up your vent disc now. 3,900 grab. Oh, wait. Why did I go into the defense there? Am I stupid? Yeah, I am. Okay. <laughs> so I want 3,900 attack. Okay, let me see. 3,900 attack. I, I have a lot of these leveled up pretty fully, so it's going to be like... Oh, yeah. No, never mind. Chunky, you're too you're too powerful. I'm sorry, Chunky. A little too much there. Let's go with... How about Hy Hydreigon? What? Wow. Some of these guys are just too powerful. Oh, Napalm Man. Napalm Man for sure. Let's change it up and do... What are the rules of this one? 
This is a stamina battle. I would like more stamina. I always go for the ones that give you extra stamina in these things. Let me see. Where are the stamina ones? If any. Skill. I know there are a bunch of stamina ones in here somewhere. I was just using them the other day for some spirit battles. Uh, why aren't these guys... Why can I not use any of these? Wolheart, what's up, dude? Okay, there we go. Oh, we're doing the eggplant all right. There we go. This is Ventus? Okay. And I'm, I'm guessing most of these are probably just going to be... Um, just sort of <laughs> variants, honestly, but... I feel like there's probably a lore reason as to why... Oh, there's two of them! What the heck? Never mind, Dark Samus is here. What the hell? Oh, maybe Ventus is his nobody or, or is heartless or something. I don't know how it works. I'm not going to pretend to know how it works, like I said. Bye, Sora! Well, that was actually fairly simple. Look at that slow-mo. I love it. Okay, so it looks like it's only... Because that didn't happen with the Kyrie battle. So it looks like it's only stamina battles that this happens. At least that's what it looks like. Cool. Okay. Let's, um... There's only eight of them, so not too bad. Not even eight o'clock yet? Wow. Okay. Stamina battle. Hostile assist trophies. Interesting. Oh, and... Whoa, there's an army of Game & Watch. What the heck? Nine, this is going to be more difficult. 9400 defense. So I need... No, Chen Li's already... I, I want to get one that's not level 99, preferably. Yeah, we'll do Big Boss. Big Boss is the next one? Okay. Um, there was an Assist Trophy Killer one. Where did that go? One of these was an Assist Trophy Killer. Assist Killer. Yeah, Sheriff. Yeah, that's a solid lineup. Let's do that. Um, anyways, yeah, so Smash 4, I really got on the hype train with Little Mac. Um, then after that, like, some characters... I, I can pretty much... I can remember most of the times when certain characters were revealed, like, where I was at that moment, you know? Um, like, I remember, I mean, for most of Smash 4, I was still living with my parents. I mean, I was in high school at that point, right? I was in, like, what, that game came out during my junior year of high school. Yes. My junior year of high school is when that game came out. Um, and, yeah, so I was still living with my parents at the time. Um, and for most of those reveals, I was just kind of, like... Watching them, a lot of them actually came out during the summer vacation that year, which was uh, which was interesting. It was a good timing for that game, um, even though it was released obviously later, like closer to the holidays. But um, Smash 3DS was a little early. I think it was October of 2014 that Smash 3DS came out. Um, get out of here! No? Okay. Bye bye. All right, Lucina, get out here. Ooh, 100 uh, 140 HP. That's a lot. Nope. Did not counter that at the right time at all. Woo! Stop it. Love that side B, by the way. Ooh, shit. Not doing too good now. There we go. Uh-oh. Oh, I forgot. Crystal. Interesting. I forgot about the assist trophy part. Shit. Hey, you know, I can freeze you too, Crystal, by the way, if I wanted to. There we go. Is that going to be... Oh, that did get... I was surprised. I figured you had to launch up farther away in order to get the final smash off. Interesting. Bye, Lucina. Well, not quite. Haha, you know. -ha, I froze you. What are you going to do about it? All right, I know. I know. <laughs> Freeze. Okay. Shit. Crystal, you can stop. Come on. Crystal is just kicking my ass right now. But well, Lucina's almost done. No! There we go. That was actually getting a little hairy there, but that was, what, a three-star? Crystal was just being really annoying in that battle. Um, trying to remember, like, I wasn't really super hyped about any of the characters in Smash 4, because even then, like, during the Smash 4 hype cycle, like, building up to the re release of the game, I wasn't too familiar with a lot of the characters they were introducing. I mean, I, did, I had no experience with Animal Crossing until New Horizons. Um, Mega Man I was excited for, but I wasn't really paying attention to Smash 4 when he was revealed. Um, 
like we fit trainer i didn't care rosalina i mean i knew i don't even know if i'd played mario galaxy at that point like i said i still hadn't played a lot of like console core nintendo games at that point during smash force hype cycle honestly smash 4 and brawl especially are what kind of got me into nintendo even more so i played some of the handheld games but most of those handheld games to be honest were either sonic games or like licensed crap that i grew up on <laughs> like all your pixar movies and stuff and nicktoons a lot of the Nicktoons games were on, I had on Game Boy Advance as well, I remember specifically. Man, I loved Game Boy Advance, that was a great handheld system. Uh, what are we at? 3800 attack. Way overpowered. I need a shield. 3800? How about Ling from Tekken? No, too much. Way too much. Steelix? Is it, is it stamina? It is stamina. Okay, so I guess most of these will be stamina, it just wasn't Kyrie. Yeah, I guess that probably makes sense, because would you ever fight Kyrie? <laughs> I can't imagine you would fight Kyrie in the Kingdom Hearts games unless she was, like, possessed or something. I don't know. Alright, come on, Krom. Krom is supposed to be... Is his name Terra? Is this Terra? Who... I think his name is Terra, right? Oh, interesting. Ashley. Uh-oh. Oh, and shit, I forgot Ashley actually does damage in this cloud. This is gonna be super annoying. Dang it, Ashley. What?! Wait, oh, I didn't know if this... Does Ashley's assist trophy move actually do random effects on you? I didn't know that. Wow, that's annoying. Did not even realize, but this this side special comes clutch, let me tell you. Bye! Aww. I was gonna end it with that upbeat right there. That would've been perfect. Ah, uh, that was the counter right there. I saw it. Wanna do it again? Nope. Okay, there we go. The down aerial will do it. That's a, that is a cool shot right there. That's spinning the Keyblade around him like that. That's super cool. Um, Terra, yeah, that is his name. Okay. I'll end these characters at some point. Once I have time and once I want to drop the money, I, I think I will try to at least play, like, Kingdom Hearts 1 and 2 if I can. Um, I don't... I probably would rather get them on PC because I don't trust the cloud versions. I know that the, um, the Kingdom Hearts, like, the people who work on Kingdom Hearts said that it's not out of the question that there will be native ports. Of at least the collections. Three, I, I don't think they could get three running on the Switch. but it, Or it'd be like super, super downgraded. Um, definitely need to upgrade for this one. 9500 attack. But like, I feel like the PC's the way to go. Would I say 9500? Be a good defense option. Ooh, how about Samus in a light suit? There we go. Um... What are the other conditions? Increased movement speed. Corrin. Okay, I guess they're not all going to be... Uh, I guess I was wrong. They're not all going to be Sora. I guess that's good, because otherwise it'd get a little annoying. Yeah, you know we'll do special move power. Oh, it brings me up way higher. Okay. The Shine Sprite's like one of the best support spirits in this game, which is kind of funny. And I got Samus in the Light Suit. From, I think Light Suit was Prime 2, right? That is a lot of stamina, actually. Shit. Oh, shit. Hey, get... Stop it! Get this friggin' black hole open. It's not helping me in the slightest. Oh, missed that one. But, yeah, so Smash 4, I was definitely, it was funny, because I was actually more excited for 3DS. Um, I think because I didn't have a Wii U at the time, and actually was, I, at first I wasn't going to get a Wii U, because I was like, I just bought the Wii. I bought the Wii instead of the Wii U, so I could play Brawl, and because the Wii U didn't play GameCube games, so I was like, okay, I'm not going to get the Wii U. And then, like, so I was super excited for 3DS. Um, just the concept of having Smash Brothers on a handheld um, was really cool to me, honestly. Especially as someone who grew up playing, like, the Nintendo handheld games. It was just super cool to see that. Um... Oh, wow. How am I already down to 87? What the heck? And they're only at... What? What? Come on. Oh, my... Corn. Stop with that downbeat. I see you there, Corn. I am not doing good at all. What the heck? Okay, there we go. Shit. How am I doing this bad? What happened? I don't... Is, are you sure that's just movement speed? Or are we also dealing with... Um, oh, why didn't I get healing shield? Okay, interesting. I'm going to spam you with projectiles. Nope, not anymore. Okay. There we go. Oh, yeah, there we go. Come on, please. Oh, that was it. Fuck, that was literally going to be it. Shit, that's not good. I could just spam side B. Damn it. Damn it. Shit, this is not going to end well, is it? How in the world? 
Fuck! How did it get this way? How? How did this happen? Was I just not paying attention enough? That's the thing, especially with Smash. Like, you really gotta pay attention to what's going on. Oh, my God. Yeah, that's it. That's it. It's over. All right, Reek, you got me this time. Yep. Yeah, I figure. I don't know how that big of a difference in the HP even happened. I legitimately thought, like, it was tied. I was not paying attention enough. Okay. Oh, this game can be hard to stream sometimes just because you're so focused. Um, I don't, really, don't want to leave you all in complete dead silence. You know what I mean? Um, but yeah, I was so excited for Smash 3DS when that came out. Because originally I was like, oh, I'm not going to even get a Wii U. Like, there's no point in me getting hyped about this. And then I was like, you know what? Screw this. They had that 50-fact Smash Brothers Wii U extravaganza. I remember that specific event. And I was like, you know what? Okay, I'm going to get a Wii U. And then I ended up getting a Wii U for that Christmas. And I did get Smash 4. Um, I tried to get that. I remember I tried to get the special edition of Smash Wii U. But um, I guess that must have been hard to find at the time or something. Because I just couldn't have, My parents were not able to get a copy for me for... Uh, for Christmas, but they got me the Wii U with uh, Mario Kart 8, which, honestly, really good Mario Kart. My favorite one that I've played. Not that I've played all of them, but, like, definitely a really good one. Hey, Corrin, you're not gonna do that. Thank you. Oh, you can move with the side in the same direction. Interesting. Let's not do that, Corrin. Thank you. There we go. Yeah, exactly. Back off, Corrin. Seriously. Corn must have enhanced attack. This does not make sense. Or my defense is just garbage, because something isn't adding up here, I swear. I'm fully paying attention to that, though. Jeez, man. Really? Ah, fuck. Oh, I got the counter off there. There we go. Shit! Why did I do that? Why the fuck did I do that? Oh, my God. Rico! Let's try it again. Is my defense just stupid low for some reason? I don't know. But I remember the Smash 4 DLC when that was ramping up. I definitely... I definitely started to get more into, like, the hype hype of Smash Brothers with Ultimate. I mean... Like, I was still, like, seeing some of the characters in Smash 4, and I was like, okay, this is kind of cool. I remember freaking out when Captain Falcon was revealed in uh, Robin and Lucina's reveal trailer for Smash 4. Like, that specifically, not even, I didn't, had, I didn't even know anything about Fire Emblem at that point. So, like, I was like, who the hell are Robin and Lucina? Like, I don't give a shit. I was like, Robin looks kind of cool, but, like, I don't care. Seeing Captain Falcon was just, like, because so many people were thinking, I mean, with Smash 4, you got to remember, it wasn't like Ultimate, where we knew all these characters were returning. It was, like, even the original 12 from N64, we were like, are they even going to come back? And, I mean... It made sense they had to come back, you know what I mean? Um, I, don't think, I don't even know if Ness and uh, like Jigglypuff were even showing any trailers before Smash 4 was even released. But I remember up until that point, we hadn't seen Captain Falcon. And then when they like show Lucina and then they twist the camera around to show Cap that she's fighting Captain Falcon, like I just lost it. That was probably my most exciting moment for Smash 4, if you can believe that. Not even any of the newcomers. Um... Because none of the newcomers were super hype, except, I mean, in terms of the base roster, the hypest one is Mega Man, like, right off the bat. I, I just, ad adding Capcom as a third party, I mean, having, um, having Pac-Man in there, too, was a very big deal. That was awesome to have, like, those, I remember when Pac-Man was revealed, it was, like, we got, like, four giant gaming icons, you know, between, you know, we had Mario, Sonic, Mega Man, and Pac-Man all in the same game, and that was just amazing to have. There we go, hitting off the final smash here. But look at my look at my stamina already. How is it that bad? Please do a lot of damage. That's nothing. What the fuck? Ah, oh, jeez. Like why? It, I, I think he has enhanced attack power as well. That's the only thing that makes sense to me, to be honest. Ah, shit. This is actually a tough battle. I'm surprised. Some of the three stars, I swear, sometimes are more difficult than four stars. Like, it depends on which spirit it is, really, but, like... That fucking move right there! Are you serious, dude? This is where it all comes... No, oh, my lord! Uh, I I'm skipping this battle. I'm fucking coming back to this, because, like, literally... I'm not doing... Okay, I'm fucking done. Um, I'm just gonna jump into Xion. I think it's pronounced Xion? I don't know. 
but I really didn't get into the hype of Smash Brothers until Ultimate. Like, with Smash 4, I mean, some of the DLC characters were cool. Um, I, I didn't even know. I'm not even going to lie to you. I didn't even... Like, I knew who Cloud was, but I had absolute... And I still really... I still haven't played through... Um, I haven't beaten Final Fantasy VII. I played through maybe about 10 hours of the original. Um, hey, I have a good idea. Let's not fucking pile up on me like that. Thank you. What is it with the Robins, man? Come on. What is it with the Robins here? That are just like... They did this with another... Uh, they did this with Classic Mode. So maybe that part of Classic Mode was supposed to represent Shion, I guess, then? Because why are there... She must be a mage or something. That's my only guess. But there are so many. Like, why? Why are there so many of you? Um, yeah, but I remember not being, I mean, I was hyped for Mewtwo to come back because he was in Melee. Lucas, I was like, this is really cool because, like, he was cut from Brawl and then he's back. Same thing with Roy. Honestly, the character I was most hyped for was Ryu from Street Fighter because I played a lot of Street Fighter 2 on, um, oh, that's not one of those stamina battles either. Good point. Um, oh, no, it was. Then maybe it's only certain moves that actually do the... The slow-mo finisher at the end. Maybe. I'm not sure. Um, I just remember, we, I played a lot of Street Fighter 2. Um, I swear, I think I brought this up on a stream before. I swear it was like a bootleg version of Street Fighter 2 on our PC. Like, it didn't seem like it was like a legit thing. Um, 4300 attack? Okay, I can go down a bit for that. But I was hyped for that, except for the fact that Data Miners, like, literally found his victory theme, along with Roy. That was E3 2015? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was either 2015 or 2016. Where they were they were actually revealed it. I just, I was so like, I don't know, level, level 99 buzz buzz? No, I, I don't want a level 99 one. Give me like, there we go, that's good. Stamina? Yeah, okay, stamina. Axel, gotcha. But I just remember um, being a little bit of like, deflated i mean it was still exciting but it was just kind of annoying so it was like imagine the reveal of that character without it being leaked at all hey let's not do that thank you uh, that would have been so cool to see oh my god the stupid what is that thing even called again i don't even remember what it's called um that it's, it's the item from mario i know what? hey roy let's not do that thank you you know it's almost like axel has a fire theme you wouldn't say Wow, okay. Stop it. Hey. <laughs> you want to play fire with fire, huh? <laughs> egg. I always thought Incineroar said egg in that trailer. It sounds like it to this day. Hey, Roy, do the up B one more time. Like, seriously. Oh, my. That's it. You're fucking dead. Roy, you are actually straight up dead, my friend. I am sorry, but not. Bye. Um... I keep trying to think, and I'm just, like, losing train of focus just because I'm so into the battle here. Smash Bros. is really tough to talk and um, play at the same time. Like, I'm sure the gameplay itself must be interesting enough to watch, but it's just, like, trying to keep some conversation going while playing this game especially. This is especially the kind of game where you have to focus. Where even with, like, Metroid Dread, it's, like, I don't have to be doing it, like, focusing nearly as much just because of the it's not super high-octane gameplay like this, you know? Exploration games kind of let you have a little bit more freedom with that. Same thing with, I would imagine, RPGs for the most part. Unless it's like a real-time system. But at least a turn-based system, I feel like, would be simple enough to do. Then again, I wouldn't want to stream an RPG just because of the length, you know? There we go. Axel is done. So there's only one more besides Riku, right? I think? Because I just did Shion. Oh, yeah, who's the legend? Is it Ventus or Roxas? Might be Ro I think I already did Ventus, right? This might be Roxas. Yeah, it's Roxas. Okay. I got Riku and Roxas left. Okay. This is going to be tough. 13. Wow. Okay, this is going to be a tough one. Let me get out my big guns for this guy. Definitely not fucking Karate Kong. <laughs> what is he from? Like Jungle Beat or something on the GameCube? Um, whoa. I didn't realize my metal face was that good. Holy shit. I guess I'm going with metal face. Metal face is... No, Metal Face is definitely not my best one. I'm pretty sure Akuma's my most powerful spirit, but I think he, I'm, he might be in, like, the dojo or something right now. Ooh, with this song, too, from the trailer is really... I forget what this is called. What's, what song? Can you, can you tell me the song name? 
Fragments of Sorrow, is that what it's called? Oh, what the- what- what- what in the world? So you're invisible- like you're- what? Interesting. I was thrown off at first, because I was like, what the heck? Why am I- like, yeah, why am I clear like that? Like, what the heck? Oh shit, this is gonna get crazy. Counters, okay. Counters are gonna be my friend here. For sure. Ah, shit, that was bad. Think you can get away from me? I don't think so. Rats. Ah! Okay, so his, his attack speed goes crazy right there. Gotcha. Not enough to avoid the side beat, though. Shit. Rats, okay. I was doing good, and now it's uh, getting a little close for me. Get out of here. There we go. Trying to focus a little bit here, because this is a tough one. Wait, did he recover HP? Yo, he literally recovered HP. What the hell, dude? What? I'm so confused. How in the world did that happen? Shit. There we go. That actually worked out in my favor somehow. Does he recover HP? I think I did too somehow, though. That's weird. Does that happen every so often? <laughs> and this is going to last forever if that's the case. Ooh, I don't know if I like that, to be honest. Nah. Yeah. Come on, Roxas, let's go. Once I'm done with this battle, I'll get more into... Oh, no. Oh, no. No, no, no. Come on. Please? Yeah! I don't know how I got that, but okay, that's gonna be good. <laughs> nice. Get out of here, Roxas. As long as I don't fall off the ledge, that's what I'm worried about. I am worried about potentially dying here. Nope, that's bad. That's bad. Go away. Go away. No, 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 no. no. Oh, son of a... That final smash has crazy range. It literally just hits you from across the stage. There's nothing I can do there. Alright, come on. Come on. There we go. This is going to be really tough. Shit. When is the... I swear we recovered HP. Like, I swear... Oh my... How the fuck did he just do... Oh, because attack power went up. I thought it was just movement speed. My bad. Fuck you, Roxas. Get the fuck out of here. Uh, except for the slow-mo. That's kind of cool. Really? Let me try it again. Let me do it again. Go back in there. That's the one thing I hate about spirit battles. Is like Some of them are just really, really annoying. I have not been able to complete all the DLC spirit battles, unfortunately. Um... I've been able to do some of them. I think I definitely did all the SNK ones. I want to say I did all the uh, Tekken ones as well. I don't know what it is about the uh, the fighting game characters in this game. I just really like playing as them, and I really like the uh, the content they have. Dude, the fighting game music in this game from like Street Fighter and Tekken and all the SNK fighters is just like oh, it's so good. Especially the SNK music. Pretty much got the Castlevania treatment where they got like a ton of tracks. Actually, I think they might have even had more SNK tracks than Castlevania tracks. Castlevania had 34. I think SNK might have had even more than that. Ah, shit. Whoa, jeez. Oh, I was wondering what the hell was making that noise. I'm like, oh, it's because he has the, uh, it's the killing edge from Fire Emblem? Why do you have that, Rox? Come on, man. What? Hey, you know what I'd love to do? To see where the hell I'm at. I, the one thing I will say about the Killing Edge, I love that it's the same sound effect from Fire Emblem. Like, oh yeah, you recover. Oh fuck, he does recover stamina. Mm -hmm. Are you fucking serious, dude? This, this is just frustrating me more and more to the point where I don't know if I even want to fucking bother with this crap because this is just literally gonna take forever. And to be honest, I kind of hate getting frustrated at Smash Brothers because I love this game. You know, I love all the content that's here. Hello, Retro ZZDX. How you doing, man? Trying to do some of the spirit battles here with uh, the Sora spirit battles that came with the DLC here. I've only got a couple left, but they're they're pretty tough. This is the Roxas one, which is the Legend class one. 
Oh no, not good. That's kind of. I think that's kind of. That seals the the. That seals the keyhole right there. If you know what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, not good. Not looking. Good. And yeah, and he gets the movement speed plus the. Uh, yeah. Uh, let me go back to the Riku one. Try that a bit. What time am I at? Eight fifteen. Like I said, I might not do the full two hours tonight, so I might end the stream in a little bit. Oh shit! I didn't try the meat costumes yet, or at least the Doom guy one. To be honest, I don't really... Let me do each of these. Let me try each of these one more time. And if I don't get it, I don't care. <laughs> I'm moving on. Let me try each of these one more time. Um, the Riku one especially was super annoying. Let me see if I can do it, though. He was, what, 95? 9,500 attack? So who would be good for this? I think I'm pretty sure I did Sam's with the Light 2 last time. Yeah, that's pretty solid. Let's try that again. Let's try Riku again. This one was just tough, because I... I swear, like, I started, like, it starts off okay, but then, like, as soon as I get, like, later on into the fight, it's, like, this the gap between how much HP I have versus he does is crazy, and I don't, I don't think this one recovers, um, any HP here. Also, Corrin's just super annoying, by the way. You're doing good. Oh, you're excited for the new Kirby game. Yeah, no, me too, for sure. Um, just, like, in terms of the, oh. <laughs> <laughs> that was on me. That was bad. That was on me. Um, I am also very excited for the new Kirby game for sure. Just the fact that it's going to be 3D. I mean, the the possibilities are just immense, you know? So I'm very much... I want to see more of it. Um, the footage they showed off, I'm not going to lie, in the uh, Nintendo Direct not that long ago. That was almost a month ago at this point, wasn't it? Jeez. Um, like, I'm not going to lie. It looked a little... Not basic, but like... The main point was to show that it was 3D. So I really hope there's something just beyond, like, the 3D platforming being, like, the gimmick of the game, you know? Um, like, I'll, I'll be excited to see more copy abilities. Um, yeah, you know, I'm done with these. I'm just, This is getting so bad. I feel like the more I play, the worse I get. I'm not even going to bother. I don't really care about getting all these spirit battles done. I do want to show off the Doom Guy meat costume for a bit. Um, but I'm looking forward to when they do show off more of the Kirby game. Because I just, like like I said, I want to see what more copy abilities they have, potentially. Um, like, brand new ones, returning ones as well. Um, some of the bosses, too, would be cool. Hopefully they won't spoil everything, but, I mean, the potential is really there. You play a lot of 2D ones, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I was going to say, there really aren't a lot of 3D ones. Well, 3D ones, I guess it depends on what you mean by that, but... You played a lot of the 2D ones? Nice. Which one's your favorite? I'm trying to think of my favorite Kirby... Honestly, Planet Robobot on 3DS is really good. That's probably my favorite of the newer games. I honestly did like Kirby's Dream Land 2 a lot. Um, also, 64 is a really good one. Not as much of a fan of Superstar, to be honest. I don't know, just like... With the fact that it's the five individual games, it just kind of feels a little disjointed to me. Let's do Jimbo's game for this rule set. I'm going to show off the Doom Guy me costume. What would be a good Doom stage? Honestly, maybe the Find Me one. No, definitely Norfair. Definitely Norfair. Let's let's pick a good. I gotta pick a good music track for this. Oh, this honestly, the versus Ridley remix sounds like this could be in Doom. We're gonna do it. This is gonna be the the Doom guy. Uh, the Doom guy track. Yeah, honestly, you know what? Let me do. Yeah, I'm gonna do Me Gunner with Doom guy, and then I'm gonna do. This is a red alt of Ridley, right? Yeah, there we go. <laughs> this is the Doom battle right here. This is your Doom content in the game. Honestly, Kazuya might have worked too because of Devil Kazuya, but maybe not. There we go. <laughs> this is where the fun begins. Yeah, B-Gunner's a little slow, aren't they? They just they feel a little slow. But you know, for Doom Guy, it works. For Doom Guy, it definitely works. Let's see, he's got the grenade launcher too, I think, right? Oh no, I gave him the laser blast and then I gave him the bomb drop as the down B. That's what I did. Yeah, that's what I did. Yeah, you know what this feels like, Doom Guy. I'll main I'll main me gonna Doom Guy. Ooh, rats. Not like in this. Rat three suck too. Okay, good enough. I put him at level nine, right? Pretty sure. Ridley, you're done. Get out of here. I wish I could just rip you in half like in Doom. 
There we go. That's it. There was one 3D Kirby game, which was Kirby... Oh, right. Blowout Blast. I forgot about that. Which is kind of funny. It's kind of like... In my opinion, I think Blowout Blast was kind of like their way of testing the waters for 3D Kirby and seeing really how people received it and how it controlled. Um, so I've, I've never played Blowout Blast, but I've seen footage for it. And like, in terms of the movement, I mean, it did seem pretty limiting a Blowout Blast, which was definitely intentional by design. But um, yeah, it's really cool to see that they kind of started off like potentially having a 3D Kirby work like that and then evolved as they went. And now we have a full... Full, brand new full game coming out of that concept so that's really cool to see um just like i said i'll definitely be curious to see what like new additions besides just having it in 3d obviously that's a big deal but like what else they're having in the game as well you know <laughs> honestly i should just play uh, me gunner doom guy with uh with the grabs to grab attacks i feel like that's pretty fitting no okay bye bye get out of here but yeah, before I mean before I end the stream, I do want to talk because I know I've talked a little bit about my experience with Brawl and Smash 4. I really want to talk. I mean, this is the, the this is the game ultimate that I'm playing here, you know. So like, this game is definitely special to me. I mean, this is the only one I've really been like fully involved with the hype cycle for. I just have a lot of memories with most of these reveals, um, except except for Byleth. We don't talk about Byleth. I was so deflated with that one. I'm not gonna lie. Um, <laughs> I was I was pretty deflated with Byleth. Oh, why did I do that? How am I alive? What? I didn't know Miguel's recovery was that good. What the heck? That was crazy good. Holy crap. Nope. Come on, Ridley. Come over here. Come over here, Ridley. <laughs> Come over here, Ridley. I'm trying to think of what demon uh, Ridley's closest to from Doom. They were the flying ones, but they had, like, the rocket jetpacks. Ridley's definitely not a pack of demon. You know, I don't know what Ridley would be. I'd have to think about that one, to be honest. There really are no... Are there any dragon-type demons in Doom? I don't think there really are. Ridley's got a little bit of an advantage on me here, though. I'm not going to lie. Rats. Facing the wrong way, as usual. Hey, get over here. Get over here, Ridley. I want to take you out. Got to take you down to at least one stop. Come on, buddy. Um, I don't like the new Smash character for, for Ultimate. Oh, Sora, you mean? Yeah, Sora's honestly really fun. I think in terms of the Fighters Pass 2 characters, I think... See, it's tough because my top three for Fighters Pass 2 are definitely Sephiroth, Kazuya, and then Sora. Um, oh, that might be it. That might. Oh, that might be it. Rats, Ridley's got me good here. Crap. Oh, the tails. Okay. Yeah, this is it. This is it right here. That's it. Okay, you know what? I'll give the level 9 Ridley CPO that. That was a really good kill. The one time Doom Guy failed. Um, Sora is honestly, I really, I like characters that are kind of really good with aerial combat, and Sora definitely excels in that area. So I do like Sora a lot, actually. Um, I'll go back to playing Sora. I'm not going to do, for the sake of time, I'm not going to do online. Honestly, I might end the stream at 8.30 p.m. Eastern time, to be honest, just because um, I've kind of gone through most of what Sora has to offer. And like, like I said, I don't necessarily want to run this for the full two hours, but let's check out some more Sora. Um... I'll just do random CPU. I'll do level 9 CPUs, though. But yeah, I like Sora a lot. I like how he handles. Um, I mean, the fact that he's in the game... I'm not a Kingdom Hearts fan. I've never played the games. Um, so I don't really have a personal connection to Sora. But, like, Sora is the perfect character to end on. I said this during my reaction video. Like, Sora is the absolute perfect character to end on with Ultimate. This represents... Wow, that was really bad, almost. <laughs> um... This represents what Smash Brothers is as a whole, you know? I mean, Kingdom Hearts, from what I can understand, is a big, you know, Disney crossover game. Um, and obviously, Smash Brothers being the biggest crossover game in history now. Um, it just, it, it feels right. And he's been requested for so long, they reveals that he was actually the most requested fighter, the winner of the Smash Brothers fighter ballot from Smash 4. When originally, you know, we assumed it was Bayonetta, but they did say among realizable characters, not like the actual results. So, you know, Bayonetta being at that top, like, I guess kind of makes sense when you think about it, because Nintendo published Bayonetta 2, and they're publishing 3, so, like, made more sense that Bayonetta was way more realizable than most characters, honestly. But, to have Sora in here finally, it just feels like the perfect way to end Smash Ultimate. You know, Smash Ultimate's such a special game, and they're never going to be able to replicate, at least for years and years and years, they're never going to be able to replicate the roster that's in this game, so... 
having Sora be the last character, it just it feels right, you know? As much as I would have loved to have Doom Guy actually a playable character, I am totally good with the Mii costume because they would have sacrificed so much. Um, also, honestly, legitimately happy it's not Crash. I would like the character, I love the character Crash, Inspire too, but like, I don't want Activision getting any money from this game. They don't deserve any of it after the shit that's come out from them. Like, no thank you. Nah, I was hoping to get a counter off there. Never mind. Sora's side B especially is like, I don't want to say broken, but like, very good. Rats, I'm not doing good now. Whee! There we go. Also, I love the up B. I love Link's up B, and Sora's up B is pretty much Link's up B, so I really love that. Oh, they're cheering for him. Look at that. There we go. It's going to be close, actually. It's going to be closer than I thought. Um, so I do I do like how he handles a lot. Like I said, like the aerial combat's really good. I'm not good at comboing, especially in the air, but like, at least in terms of like being able to maneuver around like that, I definitely I appreciate Sora's movement and gameplay style, you know. Wow, that was not good. <laughs> just completely used up my side V there. Um, but I just have so many memories of Smash Ultimate now, especially, because I was just involved... With, I was completely involved from the very beginning with the hype cycle of this game. Um, some personal memories as well. Like, I vividly remember where I was during most of these character reveals. Um, favorite reveals for me, I mean... The best reaction I had to any of them was K. Rule, of all characters. I... When they revealed K. Rule, for some reason in my mind, like, I thought it was going to be, like, essentially the next adventure mode. Because there was a cutscene in adventure mode. Like I said, I, I have a lot of nostalgia for Brawl. Um, there's a cutscene in Subspace Cemetery in Brawl where I think Bowser steals, like, um, the, the, the DK's banana horde. So it's Donkey and Diddy, and they go after Bowser. There we go. Not bad. Um, and for some reason, it just clicked in my mind that like oh this is gonna be the announcement of the next adventure mode but like i was not expecting k rule at all for whatever reason and then they showed a silhouette and i like actually like completely lost it i was in tears at that one i don't know like he was my most requested character at that moment before we knew we could get all crazy with the characters after that it became banjo and that was my second favorite reveal was ban like they, they pretty much literally did the same thing that they did for the k rule trailer with um with banjo and just that was such a good reveal um, because Banjo was one of those characters that had been requested forever, and it was like, I mean, the like, Banjo has legacy, but like, in terms of relevance, n not really any at all to present day. Microsoft has done nothing with Banjo as of late. Um, I mean, now we're getting Banjo on the Switch Online. Ooh, this feels fitting. <laughs> this feels very fitting. Um, so Banjo is definitely one of my favorites. Get over here, Cloud. In terms of other reveals, Terry, I love playing as Terry. Very unexpected because, like, Terry's reveal for me, like, completely fell flat. I had no idea who... I had heard of Terry and seen him, but I had, like, had no connection to anything SNK related. So I was just like, okay, this is interesting. Um, it wasn't, like, deflating as much, like, in the same way that Byleth was. Um, but, but I love playing as Terry. Do I think Smash Ultimate is the last Smash game? No. There is no way Nintendo is going to see all this hype and money this game has generated and say, oh, we're never making a Smash Brothers game. Do I think it's the last Smash Brothers game with this caliber roster? 100%. At least for not for like a long... We're not going to get a... We may not get a roster like this ever again. Or it's going to be like literally way later on in our lifetimes. Like I'm talking at least another 20 years. But there's no way... That's Nintendo's going to end Smash Brothers. It generates way too much hype. It generates way too much money, which is what these companies care about. Uh, it's just, there's no way it's the last Smash game. It could be the last Smash game that Sakurai works on. I could see them ending on this. You know, him being like, you know what? Even though he said, like, with every Smash game since Melee, this is my last Smash Brothers game. I could see this actually being the last one. You know? I could definitely actually see it this time. Just, like, ending with this kind of legacy getting all these legacy characters in the game like this is kind of a great way to end your career on i could totally see it um but there's no way in hell it's the last smash brothers game the next smash brothers game we're not going to see until whatever the the next like actual nintendo console is it may just be um you know it might just be like a the next switch which it probably will be some 
like upgraded Switch will be like the Switch 2 or whatever, is when we'll see the next Smash Brothers game. Um, I mean, I guess if it is backwards compatible, they could even wait even longer if they wanted to. Um, or a lot of people think they might port this game to future platforms, which is definitely possible. I would love to see them just do something new, though, and not do a port. That would be definitely more interesting. Um, but who knows what they could do. All I know is that the next brand new Smash Brothers game is just what... I mean, I don't see what else they could do besides significantly cut the roster. And just, like, probably add in a few new characters, significantly cut the roster, and add something that feels significantly different. I think something on the level of, like, the Smash Ball, when that was introduced in Brawl with Final Smashes, that, like, was a big... It didn't change the core uh, the core gameplay of the game, but it was a very, very big mechanic that they introduced. Essentially a special move for all these characters, right? Because they didn't exist until Brawl, if you can remember that. Um, this is actually going to be really close shit. Um, so, like, something on that level I feel like they should introduce... Will they? I don't know. You, you really, you can't predict with Nintendo sometimes, but that honestly makes sense, because you can't go any farther from here. What can you do? You already have this crazy roster in this game. Like, what else can you do here, you know? There's only so much you can do, so I don't think it will be. It's, it's definitely, there's no way. You, I can even say, you can literally quote me on this. This is not the last Smash Brothers game. No way it is. The last Smash Brothers game of this caliber? Yes. At least for the very foreseeable future. But maybe someday. Who knows? <laughs> when we have a brand new era of gaming among us. You know, but for now, let's be appreciative of what we have, at least. Because this is, I mean, this is such an amazing package. And, like, the fact that they were able to, especially with this game, I mean, ooh, I almost really messed up there. Nope. Not doing that. Get out of here, Cloud. Ooh, okay. I actually might have a shot, somehow. Not sure how, but... Might have a shot. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> I was like, I might have a shot. Ah, shit. Why'd I do that? No! Ugh, shit. Fuck. Oh, there we go. You got me, Cloud. Okay, you know what? That's probably fair. I feel like Cloud's probably the stronger one between him and Sora. I'll do one more match with just messing around with Sora, and then I'm going to call it a day. You know what? Because I did Cloud, I got to do Sephiroth. I got to end it with uh, Sora versus Sephiroth, but... I'm always, I honestly, I find myself watching reaction videos specifically to Ultimate, like, way too often. And I think it's because I just, I love seeing people get happy over a lot of these characters. Like, for example, Sora is not a character that I have a personal connection with, but I was so happy for everybody who had wanted him in for so long. And it just made so much sense to wrap up the DLC with him. Um, let's do this. This is gonna be hype. Probably not gonna win, but we'll see. It'd be good if I win. That'd be a good way to end it. You know, it, just, it feels like a good way to end um, the, the all the DLC and end all the characters in this game. But, um, yeah, I'm just, I just, I love seeing people like really, like, Sakurai and the team really made something special with this game. And you can already tell. Just in the, all the quality that, in the, the attention to detail that gets put into every one of these characters and stages. And even things as small as, like, um, the, mu like, the items, the music and all that. Like, even, I shouldn't say small, but, like, even things that aren't recognized as much per se you know what i mean whereas the the main attention is on the characters and the stages it's just it's amazing the work that they did especially i mean for all smash brothers games but especially for this one this this um, crazy amount of hype for uh smash brothers really all started wow i shouldn't uh i shouldn't gloat now for the early lead but because that could easily change but not doing too shabby right now um my Shuri's on level 9. Actually, you know what I just realized I should have done? I don't know actually if they still offer it as a mode. It's the Sephiroth boss battle. Can you still play that now that Sephiroth's been out for a year? Like, I I'm kind of curious if that's even a thing. Because that would be fun to play as with Sora, actually. I just thought about that, but... Now, nah, I don't even know if you can actually try that out anymore. I don't know if that's an, an option. I can shoot fire too, Sephiroth. Not just you, buddy. Ah! Yeah, okay. Went right into that. Um, shit, what was I talking about? I don't even know. Oh yeah, just how great of a package Smash Brothers as a whole. It really, I mean, the hype really started with Brawl. When, I mean, Snake started that. When, you know, when Snake was first introduced into Brawl. You know, then once third-party characters became a possibility, like, that just opened the floodgates for anything. 
And there are certain characters especially that feel like that. I mean, Sonic too, to a degree. Because, um, I mean, obviously, you know, Sonic originally being Mario's rival back in the 90s was a really big deal. Nope. Not today, Sephiroth. Thank you. Nope. Rat. Shit. Okay. Get out of here, Seppi. What? Interesting. Okay. But there are certain characters, like, throughout Smash Brothers history that really felt like a big moment in, in the series, you know? Um, Cloud in Smash 4 was definitely that. Um, rats, okay. Ah! That's not good. <laughs> not good at all. Ooh, not good at all. Okay. Yeah, Sora's recovery is pretty crazy. I'm not gonna lie. Get out of here, Sephiroth. Come on, man. You're done. What? Okay. No. No, 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 no. Get out of here, Sephi. There we go. This is gonna be so close. Hold on. I'm gonna pause because I know something in the chat. It feels like we still need more characters, but it's all good. Really? Do you feel like we still need more characters? Because to be honest, I really don't think we do. Um, are there any specific ones you have in mind? They could... I mean, if Smash is gonna keep going for sure, there are characters they could always introduce later. You know what I mean? Now that Smash Ultimate has introduced the possibility of some of these crazy characters, like, nothing's completely out of the picture, you know? But I feel, I really honestly feel like the roster feels complete. I mean, to be honest, it's felt complete for a while now. I would argue, like, base roster Ultimate felt complete. Once we got Ridley and K. Rule especially, like, that really made things feel like it was just kind of rounded out. And then we got plenty of bonuses, I mean, especially with Banjo and Sora. For me, personally, felt like the two, like, really roundabout con uh, conclusions of characters to this game, so. Then again, you could argue anybody. Sephiroth was just out of nowhere. Like, who thought Sephiroth was going to happen, you know? Okay, come on. I'm so close. This is going to be so close. I'm not looking forward to this. Stop with your snaps, buddy. I know you're going to do the snap, Sephiroth. you got to stop. Shit, what? I did not mean to do side B. Oh, rats. No... Ah! Woo! There we go. That's, that's something. Oh, no. Shit. Come on, please, please, please. Oh, that was gonna be it. No! Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, it's gonna be so close. Stop it. Stop it, Sephiroth. No! Oh! I felt that in my soul. Oh, I felt that. Okay, you know what? For the victory screen, Sephiroth has a pretty badass victory screen. You know what I'm curious about, though? Before I end the stream, I want to check this out. I want to check this out. Maybe they can bring more characters in the next match. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying. You know what I mean? They totally will. There's going to be new characters in the next match game, no matter what. Um, but we are probably going to see a significant cut to the roster when that does happen. Um, Where would that even be offered? I don't know if you could do it anymore. I was trying to see if you could do the Sephiroth uh, boss battle thing again, but I don't know if you can. You know? You could do VR. I forgot that was the thing of this game. I don't think you can. I'm not seeing any options for it. I'm gonna be in the vault. Yeah, maybe that really was just... That was just a limited time thing, I think. Wasn't it? Yeah, I guess it must have been. Alright, is there anything else I want to do? I think I'm done. I did most of the spirit battles. I did the classic mode. Showed off the Doom guy as well. I don't care about the other Mii costumes. I made the Mii's, but I don't care about showing off the costumes. Because they're just... The Splatoon ones are pretty basic. Yeah, you know what? I think, I think I'm going to call it there. You know, call it a little early. Not the full two hours, like I said. But I think that's going to do it for the stream. So thank you so much for watching. If you did, I appreciate you watching. However you watch, if you watch live, you um, comment in the chat down... Um, in the comments down below. Like, whatever you know, works best for you. I appreciate... Let me get this, these headphones off because literally, like, I'm still have the game up but I can hear the music. Um, I appreciate you all watching no matter how you did. Um, thank you, RetroZDX, for tuning in. I know you're... Uh, look like you're a new face here, so thank you for tuning in if you... Um, well, you did. And uh, anybody else watching live for tuning in as well, I appreciate it. And yeah, no, I really like how Sora plays already. Um, <laughs> I was a bit rusty tonight, I'm not gonna lie. I did much better with Kazuya last time when they released him, but... Um, is he my favorite? Honestly, I might like, actually might like Kazuya more. But I think he's at least my second favorite. I think I like him slightly better than Sephiroth. Um, 
honestly, the order for me in terms of playing the characters would probably go Kazuya, Sora, Sephiroth. In terms of reveals, I think Sora's got to be number one. And then close second with Sephiroth. Then maybe Steve, honestly. The Steve reveal was kind of crazy. Um, anyways, I hope you enjoyed watching. I hope you enjoyed taking a quick trip down memory lane with me with some of these uh, Smash Brothers games. I got all the, the physical copies I own of Smash Brothers right there. Um, I sold Melee a while ago because I don't like Melee, I'm not going to lie. And I don't have a physical copy of N64 or Ultimate. Um, but it's been fun. I'm definitely, I'll, I'll probably do some Smash streams later on, like Amiibo trainings. I know I was originally supposed to do uh, an Amiibo training a couple weeks ago, but I just did not feel like it's a, apologies for that. But I'll definitely do some more Smash streams in the future occasionally. But besides that, I mean, normally I wouldn't stream tonight, but I did because of the special event with Sora. I will be streaming again tomorrow night, as starting at the usual 7 p.m. Eastern time with more Metroid Dread. So if you're interested, if you haven't played the game, I would not tune in. I would just buy the game on your own and play it unless you're super not interested in Dread at all. But then again, if you're watching the live stream, I would imagine you are. So just play the game first. I don't want to spoil anybody. Um, but I'll be playing more of that tomorrow night starting at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time right here on the same channel. So anyways, in the meantime, enjoy the rest of your evening, everybody. And I will catch you all tomorrow night. Take care.